got a barrel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make this wine barrel into a cooler. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Like I said, I picked up this wine barrel from someone local. I am making it as a uh, for a customer. It's going to be a Christmas gift. Uh, and when I say a cooler, I don't mean like one that's going to keep stuff cold for a long time. It's more of those like display party coolers. So it's just going to be the barrel on a stand with the lid that opens. Uh, where you can throw ice in and drinks and people can enjoy it for the party. Uh, I think it's cool. I've never done this before. I did pick it up from someone local and they kind of taught me or told me how they do it because they build barrel furniture all the time. Uh, and so they told me I need to pop the nails out of these rings and I need to push these rings down as far as it'll go because the wine barrels work with the wood expanding so when they get the moisture the wine in them they expand fill out these rings but these have been drying for quite a while um so it should be all dried up so i can tighten all the the slats together and then start working on the barrel from there when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done Look at this, it just freaking broke. Do you see that? The tip literally just broke off of this. What the heck? Come on, DeWalt. Expected more. So quick update on how the barrel water or barrel cooler is going. Um, it's kind of a pain working with barrels. So I did use these self-tapping screws to secure the bands to the wood because once the hole is cut for the top, uh, the wood needs to be able to hold on to these bands all together. Um, and this was a pain. I first started off with using like this, the whole, I don't know, the ever built from Home Depot. These are garbage, they keep breaking. I have two different types. They even broke a drill bit. Where did that go? Broke a drill bit, isn't that stupid? Um, and then I had to use a hacksaw to like get some of those out. And look, it broke the hacksaw. So those are garbage. I went back two trips to Home Depot today, Tex, these have been working great. Not a single one has broken off at all in there. Um, I use my impact driver and they go in real easy. So, just use those, not those. And be careful, because when you're driving, uh, the little like hot metal comes out and lands in your shoe and burns your ankle. It's not fun. But, uh, next I have to cut the opening for it. So I was just trying to decide if I want to try to mount the hinges first. Um, so that they're in the right spot when I do open it up. 
we'll see. It's all sanded too, because uh, it was a little worn with the weather. Uh, and then I have a mock-up stand that it's on right now. I use a couple of 4x4s. I like the look. I need to go get more another 4x4 uh, so that it can make the, the full stand and everything. But it's coming along good. I think it'll look really nice when it's done. Right now I'm trying to decide how big I want the opening for the cooler to be. I think I want it down to here at the bottom. I think I'm going to go all the way out to this outside band, cut along there, and then probably about right here. So that would give me about that wide of an opening. I think that would be really nice. It'd look really cool when it's open. Um, plenty of room to like reach down in the bottom. I think that'll work. So I just finished up the wine barrel cooler. This is what the stand looks like. A couple of 4x4s supported by 2x4s. Uh, I covered the whole thing in teak oil because it is going to be outdoors. Um, so that should keep it protected. Same with the barrel. Installed this handle and then we also have a bottle opener on the front. Opens right up. The chain stop the top from falling over and even added a little oh, you can't see uh, cork for the the drain in the bottom hopefully when there's liquid in here water in here the oak will rehydrate and fill the barrel but it will take a little while of putting water back in there to rehydrate the wood The trickiest part was this hinge. So I was originally planning on doing hinges on either side, um, but when you open it, there's only one part because of the shape of the barrel that connects. So keep that in mind. I love the, you see the wine color in the oak. It's so cool. There we go. And it's time to get it to the customer in time for Christmas.